Righty, righty, righty. Yes, we looped ever so slightly. Hello, everyone. Gonna tilt you down, my friends. Gonna tilt you down. We've got a load of good shit today to open. Um, opening on stream, simply saying we've got the time to record the um, the video. Essentially, no, so if you're watching this on YouTube, right welcome. Impressive. Welcome. This is not the pricing. Deck Just happy to be here completely. for all the this boosties. This is an easier, more chilled way of me doing it. Um, just when I've got a huge amount of time. Uh, for example, next week I'm going to be taking a bit of time well, off. And I want to get straight and opened sooner rather than later. Thank you, Metachemist, for the sub, my friend. Just happy to be here for all the boosties. Oh, I've got so many fucking boosties. So many. Um, well, here for Digimon, Digital Monsters, because Digimon are the champions. Yes, honestly, I've got a sponsored video coming out next week, so I'll be transparent about it. But I played, I picked these up today in game stores in, in, in Basingstoke. Um, no, you're doing right now. Promotional pack as well. Impressing the heck out uh, me. Genuinely, even outside of the sponsor video, I really liked Digimon. To the point that I'm hoping I will play some Digimon on camera at some point with be. some more people. The video's got gameplay in it. It's got three games in it with other YouTubers. Uh, but I want to play some more Digimon at some point because the, the game is genuinely very cool. Um, I'm going to watch some Eckhart Tolle have fun. Friends. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Uh, why do people tell you no, that they're going to go right watch now. someone else? Impressive. What does that achieve? Thank you for the sub, Captain. Comment Try eight. not to Comment spill up. milk welcome, on welcome, all welcome, those welcome. foils. Hope you're on the go now. Cattiest86 as well. Trying to spill milk on all these foils. Got no milk. I've got water. And my wife's just uh, doing me an espresso. Uh, no scenes with Lego cards. Not this time. Although, I don't want to spoil anything. But I've got a particularly spicy box opening video coming up on YouTube. Should be up in about a week or two. Um, I've got no, I'm, I'm, I've got Japanese time spiral that I'm going to crack at some point. I haven't decided when. I've got uh, a gift of Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising Unlimited though, not a limited print, because I want to try playing some Flesh and Blood. Uh, I've got I also gifted some starter decks as well. So hopefully cracking some of that soon too. But all of that isn't even the spiciest. Even the Japanese. Fucking time spiral. I almost didn't spiral then because I can't remember where I was. I did some uh, sponsor stuff this week. Japanese time spiral remastered. Even that's not here. Okay. Oh, that's a knock. That's my espresso. Don't know why I'm doing a time impression. I'm not Andrea Mangucci. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, dearest. Cheers! Now, with actual espresso, you meant to like wharf it down in one go. Like within, I think it's like within 40 seconds of it being brewed. That is what, uh, that is what the Italians say. John knows how fucking spicy these mystery boosters are. It's a, it's a, I, I'm not going to give any, it's very British. There you go. Got some partner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put this espresso over near these Japanese, uh, these judge foils. Um, I got these from uh, being on the judge conference recently. Uh, so thank you, Mark, again. Sending out some love to Mark. Nico Bolas. Oh. Look at that. Get a monster. You say knock off. Uh, I will refocus the camera when we're doing pack. Get a monster. Um, might adjust that light, actually, a little bit. Look at that foiling, though. <laughs> uh, Infernal Tutor. Well, Hype Train Level 1, by the way. A couple more subs against Hype Train Level 2. Infernal Tutor and Spellseeker. The Gitrog is amazing. I kind of want to build budget Gitrog. I'm going to build absolutely no budget Nick or Bolus. Probably Storm. Maybe add some Doomsday in there. Add all sorts of nonsense. If only Wishes were legal, eh? Can you see that foiling? The other side doesn't have the watermark, annoyingly, but there you go. So yeah, I think I'm gonna build those EDH decks. I also want to build, I want to build like Jeskai or Red White artifacts. I'm just wondering what commander to have for that yet. Anyway, we're gonna we'll go from least hype for most people to most hype. Okay, 
So we're going to start with a Strixhaven School of Majors Silver Grill theme booster. Because these theme boosters just confuse the shit out of me. Like, what the fuck is it? Why is there so much packaging? Why do I care? Oh, a couple of things. Firstly, going to store any good pulls in Ultra Pro Eclipses. So hashtag sponsored there. Thank you, Ultra Pro. Love you for the Eclipses and the Saturn Towers especially. Oh, and these, the beautiful playmats too. These playmats just, oh, look at them. They're wonderful. Um, so we're going to start with Follow me. Theme Booster. Magic. Then we're going to jump to Digimon. We're going to open up these Digimon packs I got today. Uh, we're searching for uh, Alterna Art Omenon. Well, actually, I want I want an Alterna Art War Greymon. Because that card is sick. And it's also worth, according to the player, $97 <laughs> on average. <laughs> Woo! Um, but Alterna Art Omenon is at a 273 market average. So we're going to do these. Then we're going to go Draft Boosters, Set Boosters, Collector Boosters. We've got 12 Draft. We've got... Six set. We've got five collector. I got one less than most uh, people that Wizards send stuff to. Hashtag uh, free preview. Not sponsored. Wizards haven't paid me. They just send me some stuff to open up and get hyped up, which I appreciate a lot. Wizards don't do nothing for their community. They do do things to help people. Why are you so handsome, says Volga91. I don't know, my friend. I don't know. It just comes naturally. A spell seeker spectacular IRL. Yeah, it's beautiful, John. It's beautiful. Get direct to make. I'm talking about the, the uh, frog, right? Oh, something like a sharp headache. I hope my wife hasn't poured bleach in my coffee. Interesting how they took this Gitrog in a more corruptible emerald direction than the original art story. Yo, Vince, just start getting to 40k and watch all your Warhammer Wednesday videos. Are you ever going to do any paint tip videos? Quite possibly. On Monday, I'm going to be recording myself painting for the first time. So we might end up with a paint tutorial on Wednesday, depending on how that footage and how that recording goes. I'm going to be taking time off next week, but I'm going to still spend time uh, recording my painting to make videos out of. Mm, 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 mm. Right. Let's start with this theme booster then. Right then. So, as we all know, there is too much packaging in this shit. I didn't get my Bellacore today. Spectrum X, Poetics, my store, uh, didn't get their allocation. They're getting it this week, so I'll be picking it up later in the week. I did a really full-on couple of days this week to get a couple of videos done for next week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take some time off this week to just catch up with some Warhammer painting mainly. There will be content still. There'll be streams. I've got two or three recording sessions in next week. There will be content. Okay. So that's just... I, I, a, I mangled it, but... Oh, fucking hell. Why? Why? Anyway, moving on. So, oh, how many cards are in this? For people who give a shit. Uh, this is a 25 lands to start building your deck. 60 card deck. Nope, that's not. Add 25. Could have sworn it told you somewhere in the pack how many cards were in here. 35. 35 cards in here. Okay. Silver Quill. Okay. So we've got like a on your turn thing. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Like a, a, rules cards are good for new players. I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, let's get a good angle and... What I might do... Chat, is that clear enough for you? Okay. Alright then, chat. Here we go. I'll put things close to the camera when we get the good shit. Now, I don't know if you get any Mythic Archives in these. Let's find out. So, two commons. Uncommon, common, uncommon, uncommon. There's no uncommons we care about here, right? Common, common, uncommon, common, 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 common. I mean, if you want to make a deck out of this for the casual players, it makes a lot of sense, right? Uncommon, common, common. So, we have got a colourless lesson in these packs. That's interesting to know. Common... Uncommon. Let's get that fucking keyboard out of there. 
Common, uncommon, common. I don't know what the price point for these packs are to us. Uncommon, common, 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 common. So much draft chaff. Is this like a £10 boost or something stupid? £8. Uncommon, 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 common, uncommon. Wow. Wow. There's no mar There's no archive. No, what are you doing right now? Thank you, Aku Sherry Gold, for the uh, second one day. There was no Mc the guy craft. I'm getting glare. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the overheads and keep the key light on. Okay. It's a magic card. It's certainly a magic card. Okay. Let's just put that on our rare pile and move on. Right. Okay. Over here. Howdy, Brian. Who the... I'm not Brian. Oh, there he is. There he is. Tyrone Community College. Fucking showing up. Starting all the jokes. I didn't know you had a Twitch channel, he says. I fucking told you, Brian. I told you to follow me, Brian. Jesus. Right. We've got Digimon. We've got uh, two, four, six, eight, nine. Don't know why I got nine. I thought I got ten. Uh, version one, version one, version one, version one, version one, version one. One point five, one point five, one point five. The difference is, basically, they split up the first three sets, the Japanese one, okay, and then they split them to these two sets, basically. Uh, we got a box topper that I got from the store, which is sweet. An alternate art Sorak at Tekanuchi. One of your red Digimon attacks a player, you may suspend this tamer and the give that Digimon 2000. There's basically an enchantment that taps in your turn to give your creature plus two plus two when it attacks a player. Cool. This is Digimon. I've got a sponsored video coming up this week. This bit is not sponsored. I bought these. I think the game is actually fucking awesome. It's done two things. One, I am super like impressed with the game's systems. Mechanically, it's very interesting. Two, I now want to also learn Pokemon cards because I had so much fun playing Digimon cards. I'm like, well, might as well. And now I'm the Flesh and Blood too, or I have to sit into. I'm up for playing some. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a problem. Right, the Digimon game is really good, Prof. Honestly, the fucking mana system. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, so the Digimon cards you're thinking of from the '90s is a totally different game. No, what are you doing right now? Thank you, Trilly115. Oh, can I get this open back? Cracking is always good. Okay, there's the card back. Follow me. We've got a promo, alternate art, Thai Cameo, uh, blue Thai Cameo, because I think there's different cards for each one, and a, a, a V Dramo at zero, level four. Okay. If you have blue Tamer, you may trash the top three cards of your deck to give this Digimon. 2,000 DP this turn. So when it attacks, you can mill yourself for three to get plus two, plus two. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Uh, it's not the 57th thing. I think they've only done like three Digimon games in total. And they haven't done one for years. Right. That is a, that's a good beat. Like, 2,000 is a good boost. Like a one mana spell gives 3,000. So 2,000 for free is pretty good. Hornbuster, one of your Digimon. Uh, but I'm not even just searching for rares here. I'm excited for card six. I have no idea, no no idea. Um, what does what? One of your Digimon gets plus three thousand for the turn. Plus yeah, so one mana plus three. It's it's giant growth. This is giant growth. The interesting thing is in Digimon, when you shuffle up your deck, you you have like five shields, five security. So you put five of your cards face down. And then when your opponent attacks you, they attack your shields, and each one is flipped face up one by one for each security check that monster can do. When this is flipped up, it's an option card, it has an ability. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then add this card to its owner's hand. So, when they flip it up to damage that part of the shield, it taps one of their creatures, and then goes to your hand. So it has one effect from hand, plus the plus three, and it has a tap down their thing, go to hand, when it's just security. It is quite rich in terms of... Uh, strategic options and um, a little bit of the RNG as well. So giant growth, cool. Uh, level threes. So whenever you, so if you have a creature in play, so you have you have eggs. Every turn you have a, you have a separate deck of four eggs that you can hatch one per turn, 
And when you when you hatch an egg, you can then level it up. So it's a level two. You can go from so an egg is level zero technically. Then a little pokey uh, Digimon come out of the egg is a level zero one two. This is level three for zero mana for zero memory. You put this on top of your level two, and then you draw a card. Whenever you did, you draw a card. So you can pay it for two mana for a three three, or you can pay it for zero to level up your thing into a three three. And when you did evolve, you draw a card. So if you did evolve your two into a three for zero, draw a card. Then if you got I don't know, uh, oh yeah, so here you go. Here's an egg, level two egg. In your hatching zone, did you evolve? Zero, draw a card. Oh, it's sweet. Drawing cards, drawing cards is where it's at. Card drawing, yeah, card drawing all colors. So here we go. So if these are both red, but they're not, so that's yellow. But if they're, so you have different colors, right? If this was a, a yellow level three, you could then put a, a red. Oh, these are both level three, sorry. So this one is zero to put onto an egg. This one is one to put onto an egg. Um, the reason being that it's a 5-5 five, five, where this is a 3-3. Three, three. How does this card stock feel? Good question. Um, a little bit cheap. It's very waxy, very gloss. But the art is of a good quality and the design, the visual design is clear and concise, which I quite like as well. Is Digimon expensive? At the moment it is. Oh, the cards are very thin. That's a good point as well. But I haven't seen any warping yet. We'll get to the foils in a second because they're foil rimmed and then they have full foil and... Um, is there digital? There is an app. There is an app. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, getting into it at the moment, Digimon is quite hard to get hold of, it seems. Um, I was surprised to find stores in stock today. The starter decks apparently are difficult. It's not quite flesh and blood levels are difficult. Um, I, I've got a video coming out this week, be Monday or Wednesday or Thursday, of me playing with another YouTuber. We talk through up games. I'm oh, playing right. the red deck versus some blue decks. Um, honestly, I was floored by how good the game system is. So the memory system, right? I'm going to stop talking about this in a moment, but the memory system. This is a three mana five five, okay? So you pay three mana and you make a five five. Everyone starts, you start at zero at the beginning of the game. If you pay three mana, your turn ends if you go past zero. So you go past zero to three, past your opponent. They then spend five, they go down three to two and pass back to you and back and forth. As you spend mana, whenever you pass over the middle bar of the track, you pass the turn. So you can play an 8 mana creature on turn 1, but it immediately ends your turn and gives your opponent 8 memory. And then go 3 drop, 4 drop, 1 drop, and then they can play their 8 drop, pushing to you with 8, and they've got loads of stuff in play. The back and forth tempo of not having to hit your land drops, not waiting for the escalation, the game can escalate out the gate. Sometimes you just play 2 8 drops and your opponent doesn't have the answer, like you really pressure them. The game is sweet. Um, right. Yeah, also there's a load of YouTubers right who are super into this when it's only Japanese. Okay. So there was hype on it when it's only Japanese. It's coming to English now, and obviously the pandemic's been a problem. Philbo says, shut the fuck up, Vincent gets pulling a shiny and metal grey one. Okay, good point. Thank you, Philbo. Appreciate the sub, and you got a point. I want to do this stream an hour and a half. We're 20 minutes in, I haven't I opened two packs. Um, are my thumbnails clean? They are clean. Cool. Muchamon, a 5-5 five, five for 3. Fine. Atomic Ray, 3 mana, unsuspend, so untap one of your Digimon with blocker. Hmm, interesting. And security, so if it's in security point that's checked, security, unsuspend, so untap all of your Digimon's a blocker, and they get plus 5,000 DP. Plus 5, plus 5, essentially. That's a lot. That's a lot. The largest creature I've seen so far is like a natively like 11. Woo! Black Lives Blocker is interesting. Uh, 7 mana, level 5, 10, 10. Metal Tyranonomon. Tyranonomon. See, 7 mana, 10, 10? Fine. Or, evolve off the level 4 for 3 mana, draw a card, make a 10, 10. Woo! Mutate! Mutate was just copying this and not doing as well because this is cooler. Dolphmon. <laughs> I'm really unfamiliar with Digimon lore, by the way. Dolphmon. 4 mana, 4 4, 4 mana, 4 DP, uh, 4000 DP, level 2. Uh, and then you have inherited effects. So if this, you can't, it says this is blue. If you did evolve onto this from here, this would inherit the effect below. While you're putting it as a Digimon with no Digivolutions cards in play, this Digimon, so if they got a vanilla, non-evolved creature, plus 1,000. So they've got inherited effects, as well as their own effects. Boltmon. Wow. Boltmon, 12,000 for 10. Level 5 that levels up for 2, that's pretty good. Birdramon. There's different versions of Bolt Birdramon, right? It's your boy, Boltmon. Ah, Boltmon, my favourite mon. Birdramon. Uh, on play, so if you, when you play it, on, one, one of your Digimon gains security attack one, so you can attack two of their security cards. Uh, yeah. Radiation Blade, three mana up to two Digimon gains security attack plus one, so check two things. I've got a Matt Ishida. Okay, this is a Tamer card. 
Um, there's loads of different cards with the same name, a bit like uh, Flesh and Blood. Start your turn. If you have two or less memories, set your memories to three, so it ramps you. On your turn, when you play a blue Digimon, you can suspend this Tamer to trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon. So you can eat the things that they've evolved from. So you know the things with inherit effects, you can eat them by trashing them. Is the digital version there's an app? But I haven't no, tried. What are you it. doing right now? Thank you, Kickflips, for Impressive the sub, my friend. I welcome, like welcome. Cupimon. Oh, these. So that's a, that's a fo the foiling's cool on these, by the way. See that? It's only an outline on that one. You get other foils, but there's also this. Oh, and the security check thing as well. And if this is a security pile, it gets checked. And you flip it over, it goes into play. These are basically enchantments, really strong enchantments. Uh, Cupimon. Uh, what attacking? If you have five more security cards, trigger draw one. Cool. Oh, that's all rare then. Is that all rare? Yeah, it's a rare. Oh, these are both rares. Are there two rares per pack? Hmm. Oh, that's an egg. Well, it's not an egg. It's a, The egg hatches into that. See different packs? Different deck. Two rares per pack? What is this? Magical Christmas land? Oh, it's Batman. <laughs> It's like a little cat, Batman. While this is when I was reboot, I don't know what that is, get plus one, one DP. Valamon, five for six, two. V Nova Blast, one of Digimon games, jamming. What does jamming do? This Digimon can, can't be deleted in battle against security Digimon this turn. So we need to security check your opponent. You, you attack with your six, right? They flip over security. Also a six, they fight and they they trade if they're both six. Um, so this this means jamming means they can't. So they bounce. This one will die. This one will survive because of jamming. But yeah, you you battle the security one. They flip over. Other uh, different formats. It's mainly just one v one at the moment. I think. I think. Um, there we go. One of the very many versions of Agumon. This one just says on your turn. It's got an inherent effect which goes on to the following Digimon on top of it. Plus one thousand DP. Um, this is just a green version of Agumon. There was a red version of this in the red starter deck. Oh no, it's a low DP. Oh, green must have a low DP then. Oh, make a cube for Digimon. That's a great idea, Professor Research. That's a great idea. Gwilmon, there are five more cards in your opponent's trash. This Digimon gets... So if, if the graveyard has got five more cards in it, it, it gives an inherent effect of plus 1,000. That's again a level three, so that'll evolve onto your egg. So for zero, you put it on there and draw a card. Hornbuster, we saw that earlier. Saber Leomon in our uncommon slot. See so how the art for the co commons and then to uncommons it fills up below this bit here. Uh, when it digivolves, trash four Digimon cards under one of your opponent's Digimon, so it trashes the lower effects. Darkness Claw plus three for one, but you gain two memory or mana when it's security checked. Uh, yeah, the egg is a level one, the creature from it is level two, that's it. Palmon. Another low level one on play. So not when you did evolve, I think, it's just when you play it. I don't know if that counts when you did evolve. Maybe if a cartoon on top of your deck, add one level four Digimon among those into your hand, place the remaining cards in the bottom of your library. Oh, it's got like a fucking anticipate effect. My pronunciation's bang on, alright? Angemon. This is a rare. Uh on play, one of your points Digimon gets minus three DP. Woo! Okay, that's pretty good. And I got a rare egg, not egg, a rare low level. A little apple. When attacking, yeah, cool. Yeah, on plays different digital triggers. Cool, 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 cool. Good to know. Good to know. So no omen. We're looking for omenom, lithamon, um, wargreymon, belzimon. Any version of omenom. Looks like even the non-alternate arts are like a hundred dollars. Um, what else can we get in the shine greymon, wargreymon, black wargreymon, belzimon? Piedmon, Galmon, Galmantmon, Imperial, Draymon, Dragon Mode. Fucking what the fuck? Mono Draymon, okay. Impmon, it's just a Sonic character. Well, we'll be. Gravity Crush, zero mana, gain two a mana, end of turn, lose two mana. So, your so you gain two, but you're giving your opponent two next turn. Cool. Well, we'll be. That's an egg. The coolest egg, honestly. Metal Greymon. Big fan of Metal Greymon in the red deck. Reboot. Unspend this. So untaps during your opponent's untap step. So it's vigilant. Whilst Digimon has a reboot. Okay. 
For the turn, next time you would digivolve one of your green Digimon from level 5 to level 6, decrease the cost by 4. Have I seen any level 6s? Yeah, I've seen level 6s. Like um, war grain one, right? See someone sort of jamming. <laughs> Look at this guy. He is fucking hench. He is stacked. Interesting off these packs, I won't even be able to build a, a black deck because I won't have enough black level zeros. Mega Draymon, level five, cool. Slash Andromon. When it digivolves, sink one of your opponents, uh, Digimon by minus eight DP, 8,000. I wonder if that kills them if they go below zero. A rare is Ikugu, Ikagumon, a blue 5,000 vanilla that has an inherited trait. Modding. And a carry Kamiya. It does. Zero DP deletes. Okay, so those things can actually, like, basically dismember an opposing creature. Cool. Follow me. The fuck? Monzaemon. Gardramon. Gomamon, Tyanomon, Golden Ripper, that's what I call my my penis, Kudamon, Impmon, Sonic character, Frymon, not, not too mistaken with Fishmon, Woodmon, okay, Lodaleamon, Terror Cluster, Seven memory. You turn one of your opponents to spend a Digimon at the bottom of their deck. Wow. And that's pretty good. So you put the suspended Digimon to tap Digimon on the bottom of the deck. Trash everything underneath. Pretty good removal spell. Is that with the red one, right? The uh, Gaia's Revenge. War Growlmon. Is that any of the hits? Guy of Force, yeah, sorry, not Guy's Revenge. Uh, that's an 8,000 for 8, or it levels up for 3 when did evolving. If you have Red Team and play, delete one of your opponents to one with 3,000 or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah Guy of Force in the red deck, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, too. Although they're about 8 bucks, and that's TCG average at the moment, so I'm probably going to pick one of the red deck to get them. Kokuamon. Mushroomon. That's one of my favourites so far, that's so cool. Hagurumon, Kokotoramon, Heart Attack. Oh, Heart Attack! Sorry, like, that's a bit weird. Tries all the evolution cards under one of your opponent's Digimon. Cool. Piximon, Where Garumon. That's an alternate art, one of those with the blue starter deck. But it's in blue, this one's different. Red is the best starter deck by a huge. Margin. Like, good removal spells, quite good creatures. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. The blue one seems fun. I like the bounce stuff. Yellow seems significantly underpowered. Uh, Mega Kabuteramon. Yeah, these don't even look green. My camera colour grading slightly off the white balance, but the yeah. air. Out of the box, the red one's better. Ashmore's got a point of, like, you know, depends what you're building towards, right? As it would be for any pickup like that. Uh, we've got a Titamon, which is just a 12,000 DP to level up or 10 raw. And we've got another War Growlmon. Ooh, baby. That's a, that's, that's, that's a bingo. That's a bingo. Oh, boy. Which one is that? How much money is that? Uh, it's neither of those... Not that one. Is it? This is the base one. This is the base one. This is a hundred and fifty-four dollars, chat. That is a hundred and fifty-four dollars TCG average, forty-ish pounds. Yeah, I mean, yeah, TCG average obviously takes into account high-end ones, but still, I'll take it. 
I'll take it. Yeah, that's teach, teaching you average. Again, maybe you can get it for less. Maybe you can get it for more. That's the big bingo. <laughs> oh, I love it. Let's see how they look in magic sleeves. Ultra pro, ultra pro, ultra pro. Fucking get your horns out for the lads. So this is just a very good card, I think. Where's my soundboard? Yeah, the art on this is fucking sick. There is like three different... So this is 150. There is an alternate art and a secret rare art and a wow. S... Alter S... Sorry, there's this. An alter S version. Then there's the alternate art... Alternate after the Ultra S ones. All of those are dearer at 105, 150, 273. Okay. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one, chat. Sorry, this is $92. Sorry. No, is it? Name in foil. $92. $92. Still, I'm into it. I'll take my $100 card. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. like you gear all over again yeah US dollars it's like 40 quid as, as um ash in the chat said i will use an inner sleeve before i play the mastox maybe one day um uh, monodromon great tornado three four one do you want to do thousand and security check i like it goes to hand upon security check having so many rarities is a bad thing um there's not there's rare Ah, that's not true. There's common, uncommon, rare, and then there's secret rares and stuff as well, which is basically just... Secret rares are just... It's the same fucking card, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same card, Philbo. It's just like having a fucking frame treatment that Magic has. Magic is just copying Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! in that respect. Floresimon, Gravity Crush, Caesarmon, Piximon, Monmon, Cusurimon, Tentomon... War ground one. I've got three of these fucking things. Matt Ishida. Cool. Well, on to the next packs. These are version 1.5. It's got a slightly different card pool. Oh, there is something very foily in the back there, chat. <sighs> Saber Draymond, Clockmon, Commandramon. He's got a gun. He's literally got an M16. What the fuck? Yeah, the, the, the Digimon game is great. I hope there's a digital climb. I haven't really looked into that too much yet. Patamon, Garudamon, Candlemon, Agumon, Yellow. Okay, interesting. Hidden potential discovered. Zero. Next time one of your green Digimon digivolves this turn, you may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of your Digivolution by five. Cool. Argomon, Salomon, which is an uncommon. Aero Vidramon and Sarasmon. Look at that border. Look at that art. Is that good? It looks good. Is this worth any money? Because that's all I care about right now. No, it's not really. $24? Oh, it's an alternate art. Woo, baby. Whoa, baby! $24 card. So that's an alternate art. That's why it looks so cool, right? That's not just the standard art. Oh, so it's actually a green staple. Oh, say so green staple alternate art. That's why it's 24 bucks. Sweet. When you quit imagining before you can dive into Digimon. I'm diving in now, Phil, though, right? Got a video this week. Bandai reached out to me. I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'm like, this game's actually really good. Like, I enjoy when we played Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'll happily play you again if Konami are listening. Uh, but this is something else. This is something else. Do these foils curl? I'll tell you in a week's time. I'll tell you in a week's time. Uh, Plasma Steak, Mummyomon, Aquilamon. Wait, is that a mad? Is that a is that a Warhammer card? An Aquilamon, Psychmon, T Ludomon, uh, Aruramon, Magna Angmon, Flymon, Demi Vimon. Clavis Angemon in an uncommon slot. It looks dramatic, doesn't it, that? Like, I'm not a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh's art style. And by that, I mean, that that's being kind to Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the art style. This is more reminiscent of Pokemon and how like, beautifully bold it is. Clavis Angemon. 
Joe Kiddo. <laughs> hey, uh, my name's Joe Kiddo. And Vmon. Oh, Vdramon is 15 bucks. I was like, hang on, how's that 15 bucks? Wait, that's a $9 rare? Is $9 worth the rare Vmon is good pull? Oh, thank you, Ashma. There you go. You hit me up. Yeah, Yu Gi Oh's got more of a weeb thing going for it than this, right? Like with the young anime girls and stuff. One more pack. Can we hit another hundred dollars? Yeah, this game is visually clear and concise, and just I think Yu Gi Oh is bogged down by its um its classic like visual design identity, right? Agumon, Mega Seedramon, and Anjowomon, Anjowowo, Anjowowo. Also, there's a bit. It's a lot of thigh in that card. I'm just going to say. Rapidmon. That's just a fucking robot mech. Arctic Blizzard. Dokugumon. Is that a spider? Cool. Meromon. Code cracking. When your opponent may trash the top security card. If they don't, trigger recovery one deck. Place top card of your deck on top of your security stack. Whoa. Proving your stack is good. Your secret stack is good. Uncommon Branch Stingermon. Kinmon. Rise Greymon. Interesting. A lot of the Greymon stuff looks like it might be in demand. Two dollars. <laughs> but warm mom on. I will check price on everything I've opened today later on, all the rares and stuff. Yeah, options with no security effects do seem garbo, right? You want your spell to do something when you cast it or when it's checked in the security zone, honestly. Worm mon. Yep, it's not Caterpie, it's Worm mon. Yeah, I love Wormmon. Did you know Wormmon from being a kid, Philbo? Oh, those are some hot picks then. $9, $25, hundred $100. What do you even do? 15 mana for a 15,000 DP. Or you can level it up onto a blue 6. So it's a black one that goes into a blue 6 for 6 or a red 6 for 6. Uh, when did you evolve and choose one of your opponents? Did you want to delete all your opponents? Did you want that are sharing name with it? Interesting. When attacking, you can unsuspend this Digimon by returning one of your Digimon level six to evolution cards to your hand. I mean, wrecking a Digimon upon evolution is just good, right? The fact you can hit two seems insane. Yeah, it's Emrakul. It's Emrakul. Okay. So that was that. That was fun. I actually enjoyed opening those quite a bit. Right, let's go. Trick saving. Res and uh, archives and foils. That's what we're looking at. There's no one commons that we care about in this set, right? Okay, I'll take a red white land. I'll take a stone rain. Sweet as a nut. We're going to be going through these a lot quicker than we will with the Digimon. 15 counter security check. That's a very good point, Astros. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, Cody. Ooh, foil semester end. And a snakeskin veil. Fucking snakeskin veils. Piss me off. Get out of my fucking way. Foil, um, better, yeah, better than that. most of the white ones. Most, can you get foil uh, archives in this? Okay, you can. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, cool. Thrill of possibility. Magma 
Opus. Cool card. I've seen people flashing about a torrential gear hook in historic. It's really weird to go from Digimon where I'm like, I'm just fine on my foot in to like, yeah, okay. I, I I know where we're at now. I say that, I don't know half the cards in Strixhaven. I've given up trying to know every card as you come out. Too much product, too many words, put card. Oh, baby. Hello there. Divine Gamut can eat my shit. Foil, Day of Judgment. That is going in the Commander deck. Yup. Oh. Here we are, here we are, here we are. To that fucking horn. Oh, yes, I will. Where is my horn? There it is. I've got a horn on. Oh, fucking get on my level. Where's my MLG horns? That's not the MLG horns. Where are they? Yeah, don't, don't. Don't get me started on Divine Gambit. Fuck Divine Gambit. This is nice, though. Let's get a look at this. Foiling's a little dark, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Go back to holding cards there. Can someone price the, check this in chat for me using the bot? How the fuck would we even begin to do that? Two dollar. No, it can't be, surely. I'm gonna guess ten dollar doo doos. I forget that that's not how you spell Dare of Judgment in American. Eight dollars. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Nah, I mean, market price is like $5, right? That's a lot lower than I thought it'd be. But I guess I don't, know, I don't know how rare the foils in these things are. But it's nice that they're affordable in many ways, honestly. Play flip or rip it? No. Absolutely not. Right. Cross and grip. Never should. None of these should have been rares. Self lift glyph weaver. Which becomes. This massive destroy all other creatures and planeswalkers. That's a card that I will probably never play with. That's the thing. So, so as we know from standard, having chase cards, having uh, lottery cards in your set gets your set opened a lot, which means the prices go down. But it doesn't mean they stay down forever. And honestly, it's not a terrible thing. I mean, they'll, they'll grow up in time, but it's, yeah, it's nice that everyone's got a window to pick up the stuff they like, right? Double mage. You've got double major and an agonizing remorse. Not very exciting. Where did that blade historian come from? Did I open that? that will be. <laughs> I don't even know. Law Hall Pledge of Fun Card Limited. Or oh, Crux of Fate. It's a mythic foil Shadewing Laureate. And we've got a mythic with Rowan well, and me... Will Kenrith. On this case, Scholar Sparks, Colors of Frost. I'll probably play that in whatever Storm EDH deck I end up building. Be. I've already got one spell binder my seal pool from the pre-release event that we did. Duress. Poet's Quill. Oh, you should definitely buy singles. You should definitely buy singles. Well, no, that's not true. If you enjoy cracking packs, then crack packs. Like, I used to get the occasional box even before I was a content creator, right? Because it's a fun thing to do. Shock. There are some whiffs, aren't there? Valentin, Dean of the Vein, who's also Dean of the Root. Am I right? Ha vein. I don't even know why I'm saying am I right. The treasure token does look nice, yeah.
But yeah, standard singles aren't worth a whole lot. You gotta you gotta keep that in mind. Foil novice. Abundant harvest. Hey. Yeah, the red white uh, pre con has got some sick legends in it. I've actually got I got one off Wizards, so I'm gonna buy one otherwise. Um well, that's nice. Uh I'm gonna that's my second elite spell I've been playing it in modern this week. I played it for CFB and for my own channel on stream. Not actually too convinced any good, honestly. I don't think it's that good. Um, yeah, the red white one has cool well, commander well, options. I think it's just cool design space that we haven't seen much of in red and white. Opt. Devastating Mastery. Is there any, like, hugely playable commander on commons in this set? I don't think there is, is there? Last normal booster. Hey, Tanazir. I've got to claim the first one, which is me in the art. And we'll have another mythic with the Elder Dragon. What does that one even do anymore? I like this card in Limited too. Um, this is the Flying Trample. Ends the battlefield. Double number one plus one plus one counter because you could control. And whenever it attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become the equal to Tanazir's Condrex's power and toughness until end of turn. So if you ever enter with tokens. You can target itself. It doesn't say another. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't build a command around it. That's for sure. Please, keyword for lample. I mean, they could. Doesn't mean they should. Okay, I'm happy I got a foil one of these out of my draft. Boosters. Uh, we got... What was that? That was 12 boosters. And we got three mythics. Magma Opus. Will and Kenrith. Will and Kenrith. Will and Rowan Kenrith. Tanazir. I should we call it Rowan and Will though? She's in the front half, right? Tanazir. Other than that. I'll play this. Nah, I probably won't. In Commander. What does this guy even do? You can't cast permanent spells. Yep. Four mana. Tap, add five mana, a Wuburg. When you cast your next spell this turn, exile cards on top of your library until you exile an instant or sorcery card with lesser mana value. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost for each other card exile this way in the bottom of your library in a random order. Oh, it's just Cascade, right? Cascades of instant or sorcery. Yeah, I talked about this. I talked about this with someone. Boring. I say boring. It's probably one of the... Okay, it's not boring. It's boring when it's five colour. This is probably the least... Oh, I would put it in coward tier just for virtue of being five colour. But I think it's the least cowardly of... I mean, you can't cast permanent spells. I mean, that's not really cowardly, is it? So, yeah. And Cody like Golos for spells. Yeah, but not as ridiculous, I don't think. But you can build a good deck around it, don't get me wrong. I just think, like, on, on uh, especially at casual tables, it won't be so much of an issue. Uh, okay. So that was our normal shiz. What's the most expensive card in Strixhaven to open other than the outside, in the normal set, if that makes sense? We're going to open some set boosters now. Okay. So I haven't opened a set booster from this yet. Bear token. A bear art card. Oh, it's just fucking sick. I'm super into that. I love this art. Yeah, I'm looking for Japanese demonic shield. That's the that's the good shit, right? Let me get that price list up here, like I was doing earlier. Okay. Is that even foil? That isn't even foil. What the fuck? Oh, these aren't collector boosters. Okay, it's a set. Cool. Culling ritual. Cool. I think I could see some play at some point in Legacy, right? There's potential. Because, like, it is four mana, I know, but, like, um, Nick Fit. Nick Fit can play that. 
selfless cliff weaver snakes can fucking veil again you turds a foil zimone quandrix prodigy okay that's pretty cool oh yeah this is good for commander too the cutting ritual okay not a very good for I do like the art cards, I have to say. Colors Blood Mage. Honestly, Vampire EDH, you should play one of these. The modal modality of it is pretty cool. The fact you draw a card and lose a life. The fact you can recur over and over and draw a card and lose a life. Also, excellent target players graveyard. I'd play that in vampires as a modal vamp. God's willing. And a foil crushing disappointment, which is a good indication of what I feel for this pack. And our list card is a drift phantasm. Okay. What is the mo? Oh. Oh, I haven't seen the fucking leg pose stuff yet. It's fucking sick. Yeah, some of the list. At least this is a playable common, but still. Two mana, one, two. You may put a land card from your hand at the battle tapped. Four mana tap, draw a card. If you draw eight or more lands, draw two cards instead. I think she's a perfectly okay commander. She's not going to set the world alight. That foiling is very dark. Our first 40k crossover there with a the scroll gun. Foil planes. Okay. Cool. I like it. No, foil's going. Foil and this card's going there. No, 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 no. Follow me. Sparring regimen. Revitalize. Promising dusk mage. Okay. Follow me. Beautiful. Honestly, look at it. Stunning. Swamp. We got a we got a red uh archive chat. Guesses, come on. What do you reckon my red archive is? If you guess correctly, I'll appreciate you. Follow me. Shock. What else? Stone main. Divine Gambit. Bolt. Okay. Huh. Grape shot. Anyone? No. No one's a grape shot. I love this art as well. Absolutely love this. Foil reconstruct history. This is a card that I think is commander playable. We're talking to one target artifact, up to one target enchantment, up to one target instant, up to one target sorcery, and up to one target planes or one card from your grave into your hand and exile it. Like in red white. That is gas. That is gas. That is one of my favourite commander editions outside of the rare slot. That is an uncommon I was looking for, and to get it in foil is pretty cool. And in foil as well, look at look at the watermark. It's a bit the card in general is a bit dark, but look at that watermark. That's sweet. That's sweet. Quandrix command is a cool card as well. Command's cool. I was just typing at the grape shot so I win. That is definitely how it works. Um, looks very cool, a bit dark. Still into it though. Oh, I shouldn't be so hasty. That was a rare there. Was it two? Oh, there's two rares every pack. What the hell are you talking about? Might be a foil here too. Manifestation Sage. When it ends the battlefield, create a zero, zero green and blue for extra token. Re Token put X kind of reaction number of cards in your hand. So it's a two G that brings a marrow into play. I'm boring. Um no, I guess you can flicker it actually. No, that's not boring, you can flicker it. I might play that in bad flicker. It's like a weird blade splicer. Does cost blue green, blue green, blue green though. Blue green. Magma opus, shorts mythic. 
Weather the Storm, a Foil Kelpie Guide. Yeah, sick. The fuck? Oh, the lesson slot can be rare. The lesson slot can be rare. Oh, yeah, missed one. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, there's a foil. Oh, there's a foil archive in here. And I think it's white. If it's a foil divine gambit. Okay. Illuminate history. Discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. Then the first seven or more cards you agree to make a 3 2 and it's a lesson. Cool. Oh, swords, Philbo. Oh, give me swords. Honestly, none of the other white spells are doing it. Swords or path, right? Will I rip it? I'm tempted to rip it if it's Divine Gambit. I'm tempted to. <sighs> Defiant Strike, fuck off. Too. At least Defiant Strike is playable. Revitalize is playable in some way, right? Gambit is unplayable. Basic Conjuration. Okay. Okay, rip apart. I'm going to put that there. Rip apart is a hugely playable legacy card. Okay. I'll take a foil ephemery. Deferi's protection, but I really want Pelagia's or Path, honestly. Silver, Quill, Silencer. Okay. Furry, Snatch, Snarl. Ooh. Okay. This pack. This fucking pack, chat. Isn't that... That's like a $40 card, right? Is that a non-foil? Is that $40? I think that's $40, right? <sighs> Come on, be good. It is foil. Oh, you cunt. You massive cunt. Okay, this... This makes it okay. You fucking bastards. You... Fucking bastards, wizards. Thank you for all the free shit, obviously. But come on! Fucking hell. I can't rip it up. I can't bring myself to do it. It look The most infuriating thing about it, chat, is that it's fucking beautiful. Look at... That's the problem, chat. It's gorgeous. Look at this foiling. Look at the fucking frame. <laughs> I have like four of these now. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm going to sign it and give it... To, I'm not ripping it for a sub. No way. I think giving it away. I might give it away in my splice. We have a pub quiz for the highest tier of my splices on my Patreon. I'll be doing one tomorrow. And I might give this away as part of those prizes. It is already warped as well. Oh my god. Look, look at this. It's the most beautiful Pringle I've ever opened that I don't want. Oh well, Demetria, Demetria's gas. Do you know both my four so far have been uh, white? I'm gonna sleeve it. I'm gonna sleeve it. <sighs> Links aren't allowed here running on water. Are you a bot? Because if you're a bot, I'm going to ban you. Can you tell me you're not a bot? Running on water. Okay, cool. I like you. You can stay. You've also posted a few times in there as well. Sorry. What's he seeded these packs? Honestly. Honestly. If you're going to be a desolate magic, get out of the chat. Right. 
fucking hell, chat. Thanks. Yeah, clipping's good. Oh, you clipped it and linked it. Thank you, Running On Water. Okay, chat. The moment we've all been waiting for. Five collector boosters. I saw these at £20 in a store in town today. As £100 worth of boosters we're about to open. Well, we feel like we got £100 out of it. I mean, these were given free boosters, and I appreciate that. I do think this is one of the things they do well, is sending out product to hype up creators and give them that stuff to draw in viewers and so on. Right. Oh, God, I have, I have fumbled that. Okay, £20 pack. Here we go. Thank you, Raven's Dark. I appreciate the good luck. Cram Session in foil. First day of class in foil. Actually, generally a good card. Reject, one of Brian's least favourite cards. Oh, the foil's actually quite cool on that. Tell me if that's in, that's in focus, right, chat? Right, foil reject. Needlethorn Drake. Power Creeper's gone mad. I one more with Flying and Death Touch. Field Trip. Academic Dispute. Maelstrom Muse. Introduction to Annihilation. What a fucking cool card that really is. The art looks really nice in foil there as well. Demogoth Titan. Oh, it's the 11 10 for 4. Yeah. Info. Tempting contract. Ooh, hello. At the beginning of your... This is way better than fucking shitty, fucking shitty, not quite smothering tithe. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent will create a treasure token. For each opponent who does, you create a treasure token. Oh, yes. Give me an extended border commander card like this. This card is gas. Okay, this card is gas. Yeah, monologue tax can eat my monologue ass. Ooh. This is a wandering archaic. Ooh, Defiant Strike? I'm not sure. I think it's Defiant Strike. That's cool, though. Not the best. <laughs> this is this looks lovely, though. I, I, I do love the kind of border stuff now. I don't know if I was playing that in Commander. Ooh, that's reverse foil. No, you doing right now? Impressive. Yeah, that's edge foil, right? Or reverse foil. It's only foil with gold for the nerd. <laughs> Thanks, Pegature, for asking me to kiss your poop tube. Interesting uh, way to say. Oh, this is foil. Oh my god, I've got a foil. Well, etched foil. Defiant strike in Japanese. <laughs> what a load of shit. What a load of shit. This is also etched foil. What's this at? An etched foil bolt. Gotta be at least $10, right? Oh, all archive ones in these etched, right. Okay, good to know. It is really understated, honestly. It's hard to even see it on camera, right? Oh, I was—I saw this and I was like, Ooh. "What is that? Is that is that um uh, CDH um not tainted pack? What is that? That is non-etched. That is agonizing remorse. Womp womp." Oh, the rarity symbol's there. And for it's not tainted packed. Ooh, Faves looting. What even ag is agonizing remorse the hand attack spell? That's beautiful. The 
Falling always makes you feel like a proxy though, right? Follow me. One more card. I don't know whether is it a dark card? <laughs> Foil treasure token. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Was that worth twenty pounds? Honestly? Probably. Like just the looting alone. I mean I don't know what its RL value is right now. But that that feels like a card that I would happily spend twenty pounds on. I, I know I know that sounds anyone who's watching this is like I've never bought a twenty pound card. Yeah, I know, it sounds ludicrous, right? Let's um just just as a shout out, if we're gonna refer to Japanese cards, let's try and just say Japanese or JPN, right? Let's avoid JAP. I am not getting into discussion about it because there's no discussion to be had. Let's say Japanese or JPN, okay? Just get everyone. On board. Right, let's check on. I want to check what the average price for Faithless is there. Yeah, around 20 bucks. Yeah. I mean, that's a £20 pack, so you have the other bits in. I mean, the bolt's cool too, right? That pack, that pack was okay. It, it literally feels okay. I'm not, and I mean, I say, you guys have all heard me talk about collector boosters before, right? I enjoy opening them. I don't really buy them very often, if at all. I think that, that pack felt good. Okay, I think the Aquaria ones I was actually quite high on as well. Okay, next one. Uh, foil common, foil common, foil common, foil common. I'll stop if it's a common I want to play in commander, foil common. Uh, foil uncommon again. I'll stop. Foil uncommon. Is a fighter account to spell two mana is not terrible, honestly. Foil uncommon lesson. Foil Cody. Okay. Foil Cody. That's pretty cool. Archimancer's map again. Infinitely better than monologue tax, but I don't know if it's any better than land tax, honestly. Still, extended art. I'll take it. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. Playable. Ooh, extended border with a balloon command. I'm going to play some Gitrog. Sick. That's going in my Gitrog deck. There you go. Okay, first whiff, Village Rights. Okay, so, but we had a we had a shit one with um, Defiant Stroke. So, but it is X for it. Follow me. It's got a one in it. Mana type? What what the fuck is that? Oh, is it ephemerate? I do fucking love ephemerate. Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. Ephemerate's great. I'll play Bank Commander. Cool. And that is reverse. Wow, the reverse falling on the white is so bad. Okay, it's falling in this is a bit, a bit... Can I hit light on it? Can, will that help? Nope! That just produces glare. Okay. Who is this angry cat lady and what is she doing? It's an instant. What is the two mana red instant? It's got two in it. Temper Battle Rage? What is that? Tormenting Voice or Thriller Possibility? One or two, yeah. Okay. Um, honestly, whoa, not that hot on it. Don't know what this card is yet. Thrill, okay. That's cool. Wait, Luca is in the set? Is it a commander deck? Okay. Double ephemerate. I actually don't think I've seen the Luca card. Main set Luca, fucking hell. Oh, is he the other side of the white wolf? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, I'm with you. The uh, the one that says partner on it, yeah? Oh, that is beautiful. That is fucking 
Oh, gorgeous. Oh, is that coming up on camera very well? Okay, you know, I said the other one looked a bit cheap and proxy-like. I think I'm in love with this one. Fuck, it's good. Either I damaged the loot or it came out damaged. I saw me drop it, though. I can't blame Wizards for that. Um, which one is the rebound, though? They're both the rebound. Johnny, you're making a joke. Oh, look at those. I'm in love with that. I think that is fucking gorgeous. Uh, did the did the memory lapse? Oh, so oh, of course. Reading the book that should be so that is the memory lapse thing, right? That is the memory lapse up. Yeah. Okay. 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 So far, that pack was good. That makes me feel something. Like, and I don't mean this in like a sexual way, like I often do. I generally look at that. and I'm like, that that looks great. Yes, John. Yes, John. We will play some Digimon. It's fucking great. Honestly, it's fucking great. Um, Elemental. There's three more decks coming, I suppose, at some point. Right. Okay. Elemental Masterpiece. Guiding Voice. Exhilarating Elocution. Vortex Runner. Big Play. Plum the Forbidden. Ewu. <laughs> Mentor's Guidance. Reduce to Memory. Right. Okay. This is my third Law Hole Command that I've got. My second foil, because I got one of my pre-release kit. Nice. Battle Mage Braces. It's the hasty equipment. I can't remember what else it does, though. But if equipped creatures activated, if it isn't a metal emblem, yeah, add one, pay one if you do. Equip it. Yeah, that's pretty gas. That's pretty gas. I'll play that on uh, Kiki and similar. Teaching of the Archaics, a lesson. If your opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw two cards. Draw three cards instead if your opponent has at least four more cards in hand than you. No, no, so the effect, so all of the art direction is the same, right? But this is not the same art direction. This is a woman holding a sword with wings and an angel and shit. This is a woman looking at notes. That is that is the memory lapse art, right? Catch you later, Twitch Glass. Thank you for hanging out, my friend. Okay, teaching of the archaics. Cool. What the fuck is that? That is the most anime of all of them. That looks like something out of Akira. Jack, what's that? Eliminate. Boring. Manatite. Here we are. Okay. Etched foil Manatite. Nobody expects the Manatite. No one expects the etched foil Manatite. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool. I, I want one of these. I'm happy with this. Fuck off, Elytrites. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Japanese foil. Wait, fuck, what is that? Triple red flashback? Oh, Mizzix. Oh, okay. That's got to be a penny, right? That's got to be a penny. Twenty bucks. Okay, twenty bucks. Medium foil. Well, all of these packs are like I feel they're just about where they should be and that's fine right that's fine infuse of vitality square up defend the campus arrogant poet with a bloom campus detention vortex creative outburst spirit summoning augmento pugilist Inspiring refrain. Draw two cards and excite inspiring from three time cards and suspend for three. Cool. Ooh. I didn't know that. I didn't realise there was an alternate. Oh, that's not an alternate. Oh, that's, is that. So this is obviously border extension. This is this is alternate art, right? Borderless art is what they're calling it. God. How the fuck do y'all keep up? Honestly. How the fuck do y'all keep up? 
That's nice. I like it. That's got to be a tenner, right? Come on. Revitalized etched foil. Oh, Inquisition of Kozilek. The foiling is so... I'm, I'm going to say it. On the black and the white Japanese etched foils, it is fucking ugly. That art, though. Oh. oh. I mean, it's not a big hit, but it's beautiful. Look at that. Fuck, that's good. Like, compare that to that. <laughs> it's just night and day. Honestly, it gets away with it because the frame treatment, the alternate Japanese framing, the, the art, but that is... Okay. Let's try to talk about that. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was the, the Red White Terror. Prismari Command, Foil, Border Extended, and Inkling Elemental. Yeah, you wouldn't know that kind of collector booster, honestly. Okay, we're down to one more, my friends. We're down to one more. Pray for me. Can we get some hype in the chat? This is the last booster of the stream. If you're watching on YouTube, please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed these openings, if you're okay with this format. The live reaction of me opening a fucking divine gambit. Right, what do we want? We want Japanese foil... Archive Demonic Shooter. Or I guess, yeah, we could settle for a Gambit, right? That will be. It smells like Demonic Shooter to me. Chat wants Divine Gambit real bad. Okay. Let's set the token out. Ooh, a Rowan. A Rowan Foil Emblem. Cool. What's Tainted Pack Japanese for that? Quite a bit. I saw it earlier. Fucking hell, 100? CDH, behave. Common, 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 uncommon, uncommon. Okay, here we go. So in the lesson slot, I think I've got one more rare than normal. We got Illuminate History again in foil. The one that I missed in the other one. Leonin Lightscribe. Oh, this card. This card's cool. Pest Infestation. Uh, then a border to up to X target artifacts and or enchantments. Create twice X 1-1 one, one black green pest creature tokens with when this creature dies. Okay, not foil. Cool card, though. If I can have opened three of these on stream today. Furry Snatch, a Bum Snarl. Reverse etched foil negate. I've opened three of these on the screen today, and I've opened three of the Lohan Command total so far across my opening. It's crazy. Okay, it's Japanese. I think it's black. Oh, it's red. It is three mana red. No flashback. What is that? Chaos Warp. Oh, gas. Again, the foiling is minimal. No, Stone is double red. That's why I didn't know it. Okay, we've got foil. We've got four Japanese. Is that shock? Is that a foil Japanese shock? Follow me. Or is it lightning bolt? In fury, that's even worse. Oh, hang on, this is a thirty. This is a thirty dollar card. <sighs> Fuck. There's one more card to go. I don't even know what Infuriate does. The foiling is absolutely fucking stunning. But Jesus Christ, I don't want to open that card. Oh, plus two, plus two. Okay. 
Who is it there? Okay. We've got a couple of hits. Not the greatest hits, though. Isn't Fury just a strictly worse brute strength? These smell good. These smell... Oh. Not quite childhood new magic cards, but... Oh, it smells good, though. It smells real good. If only you're a tutor. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. Um, some of these openings were sweet, though. Like, like, look at these. Just one more recap of these. Look at that. God, these foils. Fucking hell. Right, chat. That's it. That's me done for today. That is me done for today. Oh, actually, I'm going to show off this one other foil. This one here. These two here. These two are just... Abundant growth? Yeah, I guess. This? Yeah, I guess. Now, these two... Fucking hell, that's so good. Thank you for everyone who hung out. We got good numbers. We had a good chat. We opened some good stuff. We had a good moment. We opened um, a Demonic Tutor, which is gas. Going to be putting that Demonic Tutor into my Commander deck. Where do you go? Follow me. Digimon video is later this week, my friends. Demonic Tutor into uh, Gitrog Monster. Alongside Full Art. With a balloon command. There we go. Let's go there. And then we also opened a hundred dollar Digimon card in Ominom. Ominom, 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 Ominom. Right then, chat, who are we raiding? Let's have a look. Follow me. We're going to throw it over to Call of Cthulhu. Who is currently playing Mass Effect 2. There we go. Right. Everybody get in the clown car. When we get over there, I want you to all use your emotes. So if your sub's here, thank you for the subs today, my friends. If your sub's here, use the subs on the other side, the sub emotes. Yeah, we did a bit of a mix today. Did you want our magic? We do mix it up. Only 120? Come on. That's not even 50% of the people that were here. Come on. Anyone else in the clown car? Anyone else for the clown car? Get in the fu Get in the fucking clown car. Come on. Come on. Get in the clown car, you bricks. Oh, one person left. Okay, I'll stop. Uh, check out all the content we do. There'll be some stream VODs. There'll be some Digimon. There'll be some fucking... There's some hype shit coming up this week and next. I'll see you soon. Ta-ta for now.